Is now a good time to buy or sell a home? Are we headed into a recession? What's going to happen with the interest rates? Hi, I'm Linda Dale with Linda Dale Real Estate Experts and EXP Realty. Since the time of this recording, the unemployment rate has dropped to 3.5%, remaining the lowest on record going back to 1976. And the wages are up this year. The minimum wage is scheduled to go up again in 2024 and then again in 2025. As of May and June 2023, the Fed staff predicted that the U.S. economy may be headed into a mild recession by the end of the year. Well, here we are. It's January 2024. No recession yet. So what is a recession anyway? In short, it is defined as a fall in GDP for two quarters. Simply, it's when consumers and businesses spend less the demand for goods and services begins to fall. Once that happens, prices tend to drop, slowing down inflation. Since the GDP rose 5.2% in the last quarter, the likelihood of a recession being right around the corner as predicted earlier in the year is highly unlikely. I know buying and selling a home can be daunting. Being licensed since 1980, more than 43 years ago, Throughout my real estate career as an agent, I have lived and worked through six recessions and each and every time the market recovered and the homeowners were happy that they had owned a home. The last I checked, they weren't making any land. I've seen how markets can create panic and chaos, but you need to know that some experts feel comfortable saying that they don't believe the economy is slowing down this year and it's not heading into a recession. With wages growing at a respectable pace, we should see enough demand to keep the economy moving forward, which means slower growth and no recession. So if you're fearful of buying in a recession, you may want to think again. If you look at the rental index, you may be very surprised. In recent years, According to CoreLogic, we saw a 36% increase in rents and a negative 4% increase in interest rates. In fact, over the past several years since COVID, the rental prices have increased on average 11% per year. As you may know, Pennsylvania has no rent control. And over time, you may be at great risk that your monthly living expenses could go up and get out of control. As a renter, you have no control. As a homeowner with a fixed rate mortgage, it locks in your payment. There's a lot of talk about interest rate fluctuation, but actually for a home with a fixed rate mortgage, there's very little risk. Think about it. If you buy a home today and the interest rate is 6% and the rate goes to 8% in two years from now, you're gonna be thrilled and you're gonna be so happy you bought when you did. If the rates go down, you just refinance. See, there's no real risk. There's an old phrase in real estate. You buy the home and rent the rate. Rates have always fluctuated and they always will. This is a perfect example that over time, it makes so much more sense to own than it does to rent. So sellers, what should you do? If you wanna sell your home and buy something bigger, smaller, or closer to your family and housing prices go up, congratulations. But if you're waiting for prices to go down so that you can buy for less, remember, your home will also be dropping in price. Don't forget that. The important thing is that you are a homeowner. So it's time to start now building equity. Equity is wealth. And in conclusion, it is always a good time to buy or sell a home. Let us help you make your real estate dreams come true.